Death is but a door, time is but a window. I was only four years old when I heard that for the first time, and although I was abnormally brilliant for someone my age, I had a really hard time making sense of it. I mean, if death is a door, to what does it grant passage? What can you see through the window that is time? These are the questions that those words made me ponder. The other question was, uh, how a dead Carpathian tyrant could be stuck in a painting, but for what it's worth, this game would have helped a great deal in my understanding of the philosophy of Vigo the Carpathian. It's Ghost Trick Phantom Detective for the Nintendo DS. On a mountain of skulls in the castle of pain, I sat on a throne of blood. That's a great movie. And this is a great game. Speaking of dominant figures, has anyone made better point-and-click adventure games for the Nintendo DS than Capcom? Phoenix Wright, Apollo Justice, I mean, as handheld adventure games go, it really doesn't get much better than what Capcom has brought to the DS. And even as the system's lifespan winds down, Capcom is still digging up more point-and-click gold for the DS. Only this one, this one might be even better. Ghost Trick is a terrific game with a really interesting gameplay hook, but there's an important preface we need to make right up front. If you don't like long passages of dialogue and extensive reading in your games, this one isn't for you. But for fans of that kind of stuff and for DS puzzle solving, Ghost Trick scratches the point and click itch in ways you've never expected to be scratched before. So the idea is, uh, well, you're dead to begin with. There's no doubt whatever about that. You are dead as a doornail. And speaking of which, you're not too different, you and old Marley. In death, you have the ability to possess inanimate objects, making them move and shift in a variety of ways. You can also pass through time, and it's those two abilities that make up the core of Ghost Trick's intriguing gameplay. Now that gameplay is tied directly to the story, uh, the, the long, over-the-top story. You're basically playing the role of a posthumous detective who's trying to figure out what the hell's going on in this dreary, rainy city on this dreary, rainy night. So you find yourself in a series of situations and you have to work your way through them as if they were puzzles, changing the outcomes and, most importantly, discovering why you were killed. And you do that by possessing objects and then making things happen. So to stop a young woman from being killed, you might have to drag your spirit into a variety of objects that will distract the would-be killer uh, until you can, you know, I don't know, drop a wrecking ball on his head. I guess that thing was made by the Acme Corporation. The puzzles are really entertaining, and they're also genuinely challenging. I mean, more often than not, you're going to be rewinding time multiple times to solve the puzzle, but because of the way they're tied into the story, you're also going to feel compelled to keep going. You want to learn more, and most importantly, you want to solve more puzzles. Coming late in its platform's life cycle, Ghost Trick is a really welcome surprise. It's a great game for sure, and it's also really well made. The sprites and animations, for example, they're just gorgeous. This is one of the most elegantly animated DS games I've played in a long time, and fortunately it's as much fun to play as it is to look at. It's Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, another point-and-click winner from Capcom, and a welcome late-life gem for the Nintendo DS.